it's an opportunity today actually to lead a committee of vice chancellors of Nigerian universities to visit your amiable self, your good office. Our mission here is in twofold. One, we are here to felicitate with you on the great job you are doing for Lagos people. And not only Lagos, as I said before, uh, Lagos is a mini Nigeria. And so for the great job you are doing for Nigeria. In terms of innovation, good governance, leadership steps and all that, in education, I think Lagos is leading and is uh, setting the pace for other states to follow. We have also keenly followed your leadership steps and actions in this uh, volatile, uncertain and complex uh, or an ambiguous times. And we come to a conclusion that the level with which you handle the issue of uh, COVID-19 when it ravaged the state is commendable. I have listened to very well, sir. And I would not attempt to take every point, you know, because like I said, I'm not competent to do that. But I can see that you've elaborated some of your challenges and some of the things that you want to achieve, you know, within your own tenure. I want to assure you that we are, we'll be willing to support the committee. You've asked that next year, you want to celebrate your 60th you know, anniversary, having been treated way back in 1962. Um, the state government will support you. Um, and yes, you can clap. We will support. I will support you very well. And I'm also aware that University of Lagos, who I'm not a visitor, I'm just an alumni there, are also the ones planning to do um, the Nougat Games. So I've seen a very lovely letter from the Vice Chancellor of University of Lagos. So, uh, I, and I'm sure that we'll also be supporting the University of Lagos for that. Um, the things that you are currently doing and the things that you're planning to do are pretty very noble because the committee, I imagine, in its, in its own sphere of endeavor will have had various levels of challenges. You've expressed to us, you know, what is common to all of us, lack of adequate funding, not only at the citadel of learning, uh, various ones, but even at government. But we understand and will appreciate where our own institutions, how critical they are to us in delivering, you know, the real dividends of democracy. I dare say that we'll we continue to ensure that uh, Tasha institutions, uh, if not fully, fully funded, are adequately provided for to ensure that they continue to do that which we have asked them to do. We believe that higher institutions are the places where, indeed, leaders of tomorrow are truly, really being, you know, molded and being, you know, formed. And deliberately, we need to look at that area and continue to support them, continue to breed and bring out, you know, um, students or tomorrow's leaders that we all could be truly proud of. And so that's why, and I'm saying publicly, that. Lagos State is planning to also have two additional universities. Not only have we set forth the, the, the project to have both a University of Science and Tech in the state, but also to have a University of Education. Professor Oyinda Mola okay, has been running the university for us in an acting capacity, and we're indeed grateful that he's done it so well and so transparently. And so I'm using this opportunity to also thank him. You know, and to assure you, sir, that the process of identifying, you know, the next vice chancellor is ongoing. And I can assure you that all the extant laws are fully, will be fully, you know, um, adhered to. I have no intention to interfere or have any interest in 
the throw out of the would be vice chancellor. We have put in men and women of impeccable character that have distinguished themselves in their chosen profession and we're believing that they will do for us a good job. And so that process is ongoing and we're expecting that the outcome of it will be commendable. Thank you very much for coming to Lagos. Wish you all the very best in your own tenure as the chairman of the Committee of Vice Chancellors. Assure you of our state government support at all time and all the promises that we've met here today, we certainly will keep them. Thank you very much and have a good trip in the Center of Excellence. Thank you.